wrote? Who wrote? Who wrote? Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Tarantino. A friend of mine, Roger Avery. Working with writing partner Roger Avery. And the Oscar goes to. Delivered an Oscar winning script. Quentin Tarantino, Roger Avery for Pulp Fiction. With Pulp Fiction. And at that time, Quentin and I, we collaborated on everything. But then? Suddenly all the trappings come in. The business. You know, there's money. You kind of carve out a little piece of yourself. Producers and agents. To make space for the little piece of them that you fill in that hole with. Uh, but, you know, at the time, I, I would give Quentin anything he asked for. Hey, I'm Danny Boyd, and in 1995, two people won the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay for Pulp Fiction. This has been a very strange year. I Quentin Tarantino. Um, you know what? And to his left, waiting for him to finish. My wife Gretchen, who I love more than anything in the world. Is Roger Avery. And I really have to take a pee right now, so I'm gonna go. Thank you. <laughs> whom you don't really hear about much today. At all. Really? Of course, that's got a lot to do with a bit of drama surrounding this little title card right here, um, which we'll come back to. But at the end of it all, here's what I really wanted to know. Tell me up there. You've got two writers. Let's count our guy. And one of the most influential films ever made. So that means it could be up to five guys up there? So, well, you know. We should have fucking shotguns. Who wrote what? We, we sat around, we, we started thinking, well, what can we do? Like, how can we get a film made? Okay, so to answer this question, we need to back up a little bit. Let's go. South Bay, LA, circa 1990. Ish. Ish. Two video clerks want desperately to make a movie. So Quentin and I thought, okay, so we'll get, it's easier to make a short film than a long film. We knew that. Right. So they hatched this plan. We thought, if we get a bunch of filmmakers together, we can all make similar films. We can put them together like an anthology. And that's how they came up with Pulp Fiction. We were like, oh, we'll, we'll do a whole bunch of short stories, and each of us will direct one. I had an idea for a movie. And it was, this is you know, Tarantino. Cliche, guy supposed to take out the gangster's wife, but don't touch her. We've all seen that a million times. That's the earliest idea I had for a sequence that I've ever done. I came up with that sequence when I was about 24, and I never wrote any more. And I, I never, and I never even knew what happened after that, but I wrote that sequence. And uh, so when I came up with my Pulp Fiction story, where the whole idea is to take cliched stories and put them in, I go, oh, well, let me expand that one. That'll be great. And so eventually that would become the first story of the three main narratives. Three crime stories. To comprise Pulp Fiction. Kind of like the stories you've, you've seen a zillion times before, but I was just going to take them different ways. Let real life intrude on genre. And that would be followed by Avery's story. And I wrote the gold watch sequence. Right. So the whole Bruce Willis part with Butch and Zed, Zed's dead. that was all Avery. And it was actually based on this unproduced script Avery had written before any of this called Pandemonium Reigns. You want a cigarette you got up there, I'll tell you all about it. And we actually, there was a, another filmmaker named Adam Rifkin, right. who was much more advanced than either of us. And he was supposed to do the third story. And he never wrote his sequence. Where the fuck is it? And so for a while, that was kind of it. Well, he put me on hold. Pulp Fiction was put away as a couple story ideas, half written. So he hit it. Because, um... One place he knew he could hide something. Well, because in 1992... His ass. Something huge happened. Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs were discovered at Sundance and hailed at Cannes. Which changed everything. Rarely in our years on the movie beat has a new director become as hot, as fast as Quentin Tarantino. My personal favorite. People were very interested, you know, in him. People were interested in me. And so we got hired by TriStar to develop that the screenplay based on what Quentin wanted to do next. And what he wanted to do next was make Pulp Fiction. So, on one hand, yes. The road was paved. It was a big difference. All they had to do 
us finish writing the movie. How did you get out? I shot my way out. When we finished Reservoir Dogs and we showed it at Sundance and it was all done and I was all completely and utterly done, uh, I go, I'm going to Europe. I'm going for the summer. I'm going to be there for a while. So I was, that was my whole, that was my European time. Not only was I writing Pulp Fiction, but I was just living, you know, what is, what's it like to be living in Europe and going grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff. It was great. Oh. you startled me. Did you have a bad dream? Okay. So after a while, Avery joins me in Europe, and the two of them are living out of this tiny one-room apartment in Amsterdam, and they lay out pretty much everything they've ever written out onto the floor, mostly unfinished material that never made it into bigger projects, but also some stuff that had. I actually wrote that, that specific scene, wrote that for True Romance. And, you know, there's this, there was this whole moment in True Romance that you don't see in the movie, obviously, because those scenes were cut out and moved into Pulp Fiction. Oh, and the gun going off in the car. Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Um, all of that was for uh, True Romance. True Romance, by the way, is the 1993 Tony Scott film that Tarantino wrote based actually on another unfinished script he and Avery worked on together called The Open Road. Because again, at that time, Tarantino and Avery worked on everything together. I mean, there's, I wrote scenes as favors for Natural Born Killers. Another early Tarantino script. He would come to me and he's like, I can't bring myself to write the scene. Would you please do it for me, Roger? But the two didn't just pull from each other. The whole split narrative structure of Pulp Fiction, that was influenced by what a few other filmmakers around the world were trying out at that time. Uh, Christoph Kieslowski's uh, Three Colors movies, Red, White, and Blue. You know, Jim Jarmusch did Mystery Train at that time. Well, what about on Jupiter? Which was multiple storylines. At the time of his death, if he were on Jupiter, uh, Elvis would have weighed 648 pounds. I mean, people never talk about that film, but... 648? Uh, it was a huge influence on Pulp Fiction. Damn. The video rental store, Pulp Fiction, opened the New York Film Festival in September. It stars John Travolta, Samuel Jackson, Uma Thurman, Bruce Willis, and Harvey Keitel. And we are pleased to have the director right here, Quentin Tarantino.